The results of a hidden camera investigation now to tell you about. A Maryland man claims that one of those crab shacks that sets up at a local farmer's market won't sell him the best crabs because he's black. Matt Brock has looked into the claims. He's now in our newsroom with what he found. Matt? Well, Leon, discrimination claims are often hard to prove, so we visited the farmer's market several times and with hidden cameras. Take a look. You be the judge. Blue crabs, the feast of choice as summer winds down. And the cream of the crab crop, jumbos. Right here. And he's heavy, too. But Waldorf's Martin Van Dyke says this seafood stand at the farmer's market in Charlotte Hall won't sell him or his girlfriend jumbos because of the color of their skin. We have to go up to a white person and say, excuse me, uh, will you buy us some crabs? And why you can't buy them yourself? And then the, the thing that we have to tell them that hurt us the most is because we're black. Her and I exchanged words. That's when she went off. I can sell my crabs to whoever I want to. So we put a hidden camera on Martin and sent him for a dozen jumbos. And as you see, quickly rejected. A different story, though, for Ronnie Rowe, the man we sent not 20 minutes later. Jumbo crabs. How many? Half a dozen. Half a dozen. So she sold them to you? Yes. No problem. Nope. It's worth asking about, so we confronted the woman in the stand who identifies herself as Tenny Hayden. This gentleman who came here and asked you for jumbo crabs, you said you didn't have them. Right, I didn't think I did. I just went on my truck and went through what I had. I got another man who got them from you. He did get sick. That These was folks what say I... they come here all the time to buy crabs, and you don't sell black folks jumbo crabs. Is that true? No, that is incorrect. You do not tell people we don't have them, then sell them to white folks. No, I do not. We've been coming here for a couple last couple of years trying to buy crabs. Won't well, sell them to us. You never told somebody I'll sell my crabs to who I damn well please. No, I mean, I can do that. It's my business. I can sell crabs to who I please. That's not exactly true in Maryland. Take a look at the code. It's unlawful for an owner or operator of a place of public accommodation to deny a person because of race, creed, sex, age, and color. Boil it down. Whether you're selling crabs or cucumbers to the public, you have to make them available to everyone. If Maryland's Commission on Human Relations found discrimination, it could force a business like the Crab Stand to change its practices. If Van Dyke chooses to file a civil suit and wins, the shack could be forced to pay punitive damages. Live in the newsroom, Matt Brock, ABC 7 News. Matt, thank you very much. A shooting at a middle school in